So I have to be honest with you all, for the past couple of weeks, I've been playing The Sims 2 by myself on my own free time, no one watching, no one really seeing my gameplay whatsoever. But recently I've been playing with my Sim, Bo Broke, who so happens to be the brother of Dustin Broke and the son of Skip Broke and Brandy Broke, but he recently graduated from university and now he's living in a very not so good situation downtown Pleasant View in a rink and dink apartment with a one bedroom, one bathroom, and he only has to pay 904 simoleons, but he only has about maybe 11,000 simoleons to his name. So for the time that I was playing with Bo Broken University, I learned that he wanted to become a celebrity chef like Gordon Ramsay and kind of be the best chef there is in the world, but he doesn't really have the full mentality of what it truly takes to get there. I mean, right now he's at level four of a culinary career. He has a full on like enthusiasm for cooking. He's right now, I think at level four of his hobby enthusiasm. And he's working his way up to get to level 10 to get the membership card to go and perform mm. and do all the competitions over there and see what he can make and make connections and network with other chefs in Pleasant View. But I find that with him struggling when his past life as a child and a teenager, he's struggling to make the best of it. And when he graduated, he was kind of having a hard time deciding should I move back with my mother? Should I move in with my with my brother? Should I take out a loan? Or should I move into a rinky-dink apartment? Now, his fourth option was this apartment. And like I said, he only pays 904 simoleons per sim week, which is a lot of money for him. And so I'm having him work on a lot of like restaurant guides and working on his like his hobby enthusiasm, his skills, his in interest in cuisine. And I actually had him sign up for a cuisine magazine recently so he can kind of like learn and do new tricks and learn new recipes because I think he can make a lot of new foods now since like working and playing with him. He can make lunch meat sandwiches, chili con carne, instant meal, hamburgers, cheese, grilled cheese, chef salad. I mean, he can make a lot of things, but not a lot of things, which is not really the best thing for him. I learned that he needs to probably to be a better chef is to reconnect with his brother. And his brother was like this troublesome kid who didn't really have a lot going for him. He was dating Angela, the goody two shoes person of the Pleasant family, who also happened to be not that pleasant either, but they were kind of like a match made in heaven. But since Brandy was so focused on Dustin and not Bo, Bo was like, I'm just here existing. And I've always considered him like the forgotten child and never really was seen or heard or allowed him to do a lot of things he really wanted to do. And so I think with him being the way he is as an adult, this will give him maybe some good things for the future. I don't know. Maybe he might meet a local chef that he can probably be mentored by or he can just take out a loan and make his own brick and mortar restaurant. Not really sure. Also, who's calling him? Who called me? Oh my gosh, no way. Wait, greetings. Bo's restaurant guide is selling somewhat well, although it's still not to a prefer guide to cuisine. It could have been. His royalty check is 2,147 simoleons. Ooh, okay, that's really good. So it did quite a good somewhat well for the restaurant guide, which is very, very good for us. And I find that he is definitely like really working towards to be the best person he can be as a chef. And I want him to succeed so badly because he wants to become a celebrity chef at level 10, which takes a lot of time and effort and energy out of him that he will have to one day prove to himself and others that he can make it into this world. I can definitely see him like owning his own restaurant, but I just don't know where that will be. Maybe downtown or maybe in Blue Water Village or back in his hometown of Pleasant View. I really honestly do not know, but he has a lot of aspiration reward points, which I never really look at this. So maybe I should have him, you know, get some good stuff. Like maybe that will benefit him later in his life. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we were doing the entire pleasure um, track. So he has a fast metabolism, which is great. Slower knee decay and bladder. He can write restaurant guys to earn simoleons. And then the last one is rowdy folk song. But then the work track would be really good for us to get a little bit higher in the ranks. Now he does have a business instinct of like learning the pros and cons of every decision of weighing them. He does get very better like vacation days for his work, which is also great. So we can probably go traveling and learn the ins and outs of different areas in the world. But then friends in high places. When your buddies with the executive, you get promoted even though nobody else likes you. Your friend requirement for any promotion in any career reduces by one. 
and then plead for the job. Oh, if we ever get fired. Wait, a true go-getter doesn't doesn't let a little thing that like getting fired stand in their way of a career. Uh, with this interaction available for all phones for 24 hours after being fired allows you to appeal to your boss for at least one more chance. <gasps> Ooh, wait, what if his boss is Gordon Ramsay? Oh, wait, that could be really cool. Or like the Sim version of Gordon Ramsay. I don't know. So we'll do the Friends in High Places and get this one because I think that's really cool. We'll have to definitely work towards and getting the other ones up there in the ranks. What is going on? Whoa! No! Wait, that's our next door neighbor, Franklin. Franklin Charleston actually, wait, no, he lives. Oh, he lives right there. But what did she do to you? Christian love, are you okay? Again? What is happening? Can I call the popo? Can I call the popo lease? Wait, cell phone. Emergency, wait, please. We will soon be there as we can. Be careful, burglars can be dangerous. Here's the police. Here they are. There's a fight, there's a ruckus going on upstairs. Or there was, actually, I don't know. There was a fight happening. Oh? He's running everywhere to make sure there's no burglars in the apartment unit. 500 simoleons. There was a, there was a fight upstairs. Do you see that? Whoa, whoa, Franklin, Franklin, Franklin. We're going to have a hard time living here and it's not going to be great for us at all. Yeah, he gets what he deserves. I can fight him. Oh my gosh. Yes. Shove. Poke. <laughs> this is what happens. And this is what happens when you mess with people in your living situation. And I can kind of understand why Bo is being this way, just because he's always been like left in the back burner and no one really stuck, stuck up for him when he was younger at school. And so he's sticking up for other people other than himself. Oh my, what is that? You know, Bo does have a decent enough body skill to win. But then again, he may lose at the same time. I really do not know, but this is kind of crazy. Stuff like hap like this happens all the time in my game out of random Sims will just fight each other for no reason. And I'm just like, he lost? Oh no. Oh no, poor Bo. Now we're enemies with our upstairs neighbor. Brandy? Mother? You are not moving in. It is too small here. Mother, hi. And he falls asleep. Wake up, wake up. Your mother's here. Your mother is here. What is she doing here? Hey mom, is everything all right? What's going on? I wonder why she's here though. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's very delusional right now because energy is very low and he's gone criminally insane. We're going mentally insane right now. I need help. We've gone criminally insane because we were low on social. But what is my mom doing here? We're gonna chat with her to see what's going on. Is everything all right? It's like, mom, what are you What are you doing here? Is everything okay? It's like, yeah, I mean, I heard things were going okay with you. I just wanted to check up on you to see how you were doing after university. We didn't get to chat much when you were there. I just want to see like where you live, how you're doing. Are you eating well? Is everything all right with your career? Is Gordon Ramsay treating you well at work? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine at work. I'm fine here. I mean, I may have gotten a fight once or twice here at the apartment unit, but everything's totally, totally okay. Like I said, ever since Bo moved to university, Brandy's been very, like, focused, hyper fixated on being the best mom she can be for her her second second youngest child. And I guess this is kind of working. So maybe we should let her stay the night for a little bit on our bed. So we're going to propose to stay tonight because we're not feeling too okay around here. Um, hey mom, can you, would you like to stay tonight um, here in my apartment for the night? It's like, yeah, son, that's totally okay. I can stay here with you. It's like, oh, thanks mom. I appreciate that. So we're going to give her a nice little friendly hug and do a little family kiss as well. But let me go over to the computer because I want to be able to send an email over to Dustin. And also I think one other sim that I need to talk to as well. Because something that I realized over time is that um, Bo has a little crush on, well, you don't see it here in the relationships, but we do have a very mild chemistry towards Angela and Bo likes his sister-in-law. So Bo, you better get your act together or we're gonna have some issues. So we're gonna send a message to Angela and Dustin and then our old professor at university, not Daniel, not our grandfather, no, no. No, 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 never mind. I was like, Daniel Landgrab.
That's Angela's. Well, okay, this doesn't make them related, but Dustin and Angela are married and Angela's father is Daniel. So that would be Dustin's father-in-law. Like looking at this, it seems normal. But once you click on Dustin, you see Angela and their two kids, Daryl and Leo. But you click on Angela and you see Daniel and Mary Sue. And then Angela's four other siblings, one through Mary Sue, one through Daniel and the maid that they had a long time ago, one through Dawn, and then one adopted. So it's a very, very, very interesting uh, situation here with all these Sims. Like it makes my head spin tenfold looking at the family tree. Like I would need a whole PowerPoint slide just to kind of tell you all what's been going on in the safe owl. If you've watched all the streams and all the past videos, you know. But like first time viewers, you don't know a single thing. Like, I mean, Don has five kids by four different people. One through Cassandra, one through Nina, one through Daniel, and then two through Dina. So it's like a lot is going on. And I found out recently that apparently Carly Shay Caliente is a witch. And I don't know how I feel about that just yet, but it's going to make it very complicated for a lot of different reasons when... Carly Shay ages up into a child and a teen and then a whole young adult. We might have to go to Witch University at some point and work on our magical powers, which I'm very interested in like exploring. Bo's about to go to work, but I'm having him take a quick shower because he is smelly and he's been up all night since 3 a.m. working on assignments and articles for the restaurant. But his carpool is here and it looks so shiny. I miss carpools in The Sims. Oh my gosh, these were like the best things ever. Hold up, I'm I'm coming. Calm down. We have like a whole hour before I have to go to work. It's fine. Oh my gosh, no way. This is the first time I've been seeing Bo's outfit for his work attire. It looks so snazzy. He must work at like a 50s like retro diner, which is really, really cool. Oh, look at Bo. He seems so happy. Well, hopefully Gordon Ramsay doesn't like tear him a new one for like being, I don't know, 30 minutes late or 30 minutes early. So hopefully we should be fine, but you can only hope for the best when it comes to working at a restaurant. That's very high stress, but what can you really do? But it seems that we have new neighbors that we can definitely get to know and meet because we haven't met everyone just yet. Oh, that seems to be like a very big apartment. Wait, you're telling me Charles, wait, Franklin owns a two bedroom apartment. He's more richer than me. Oh my gosh, no way. Well, that's crazy. I definitely wanna be able to build like my own apartment unit because, or like my own apartment building with different units inside. Cause I know that you can do that in The Sims 2. And I have always loved doing that. I loved making my own apartments, making them different and stylized. Like these look really, really cool. And I kind of like how they are. I like the staircase on the side too. Also, how are these two chums? How are these two friends? Um, oh, you have a crazy elder that just would stand in the hallway like nobody's business. Franklin is a washed up um, recording producer and he's been living the life of a sleazy, good for nothing person in downtown Pleasant View. And so he moved here. And what's so sad about Franklin is that he used to be like very, very famous, but since you know, his company went under, he lost all his clients, he went bankrupt. He was resorted into moving here, which was not the best option for him. He could have like taken a loan, but he was already broke enough. And I think him being so bitter towards other people, including Bo, has made him feel sour. And he's putting his anger out towards other people rather than putting all that anger and frustration in back into his work. So maybe this will um not be good for him. But only time will tell, but we need to fast forward because Bo is almost done with work. I'm hoping that he'll get promoted because I want him to be able to be at level five. And I want to see what that is before we head off into getting some new clothes. Because he earns about 242 simoleons a day, which is not a lot. And that doesn't really cover our rent either. So we are a little bit struggling here, but that's fine. Why is it raining? I love the rain, but this is too much. My tree! No, my tree's on fire. I mean, it's not my tree, but oh my God, my tree's on fire. That was random. Hello. Oh, 
He's back. Oh my gosh, no way. He got promoted to waiter at level five. 308 simoleons a day. Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, really? So we get Mondays back now, but no Wednesdays or Tuesdays. Tuesday, Wednesday is off. Okay, we'll take it. But he's now level five. If you thought hosting was bad, just try waiting tables. This is a promotion. You better believe it. Be prepared to think on your feet to outwit and impress your often crafty customers in pursuit of the almighty tip. All while wearing a snazzy uniform with those obnoxious pieces of flair. He works from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, so he doesn't have to go oh, work in the morning. Oh, that's good. We have time. We have so much time on our hands now. Since we're here, I want to definitely go and call a taxi because I want to be able to go and buy some new clothes for Bo. Ooh, wait, this is actually a very cool venue. <gasps> wait, this looks very nice. But since we're here, we're going to go and try on some everyday clothing. Oh, hello, Tina Tinker. Hello. Now, my idea is that we're going to get two shirts, two pants, and maybe two full body outfits. But I realize that everything costs 200 simoleons each. I'm not joking. Open for business may be the best thing ever to exist in The Sims 2, minus a few other packs. But 200 simoleons each per clothing item, that's highway robbery. I'm hoping that it's going to look good because I really want him to look very professional in this newfound, like, area where he lives in and but also have him have nice clothes too maybe it'll, it'll look cool maybe he'll like it i hope he's gonna like it because it, it seems to me all his life he did really love fashion and based on his interests he loves fashion a lot wait that's a really nice outfit i like that one i might buy that one actually yeah we're gonna buy it so it's gonna go back to the racks and go to buy everyday wear and see if we can snag that before it's off of the racks oh my gosh angela's here angela what is happening? Tina Tinker, what are you doing to Colby Day? Whoa! Hold up! Mm -mm. Who do you think you are? That is a teenager. No. These people are crazy. These sims are out of control. Let's buy this one. Yeah, this one. 1,400 simoleons for seven items. That is ridiculous. We're gonna buy it, though. And the, not the cashier just watching. Uh-uh. Y'all crazy. I find it kind of funny that Bo has a crush on Angela, but Angela doesn't really like the whole idea of having her husband's younger brother flirt with her, especially when, like, he's not around and she's all by her lonesome. But Bo doesn't really care, and I kind of feel bad for him because he's always been rejected his entire life in university, in high school, and now in his adult life. He just doesn't feel like he's really making it in the world and i mean angela she's a, like a very nice person to like be around and hang out with but when it comes to her family and like other things she's just like yeah just take a step back you're doing too much calm it down and we'll reevaluate ourselves wait did someone make hot dogs because i'm actually kind of hungry but actually i'm really tired but i'm gonna snag this hot dog right here real quickies before i leave and pass out in my hot dog but it seems that we have a new friend mackenzie tellerman oh you have a nice little outfit going on like your red hair like a shirt i like that you're in your pajamas also your freezer bunny pants are so cute and she farted in my face okay well i think i've seen enough um i think it's time to uh go home and leave so now that we're finally back at the apartment, Bo can finally plan out his outfits for his everyday wear, his work wear, his PJs, do whatever he wants, which is so perfect. Because I'm telling you, he only had this raggedy stained tank top and these sad looking brown pants and was not doing us any justice whatsoever. So I'm going to have him wear this little sweater here with these pair of jeans. Maybe like these right here. These look really cool. Or we can have him wear a full body outfit that looks very stylish. I like that one, but I also really love this one too. You know what? He can wear this one. Oh, Dustin. Oh, dear brother of mine. How's everything going? I want to kind of talk to you about something and kind of apologize and explain myself a little bit about what happened earlier this afternoon with Angela and everything. Because you may be a little bit angry with me, but I just want to say I'm very, very, very sorry of what happened. What's, what's going on? What's happening? Are you going to chat? Good. It's like, bro, I'm so, 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 so sorry of what happened with me and Angela at the clothing store. I didn't really want to, like, 
come on too hard, but I wanted to be able to say, hey, I appreciate you. I love you so much, blah, blah, blah. And it may have actually flirted with your wife a little bit. And I'm a little sad about that. I feel a little bit guilty. So hopefully you can forgive me. I mean, Dustin, honestly, is a person that you don't want to get on his bad side. And he tends to hold a grudge pretty much nine times out of his day. But Dustin is a forgiving guy. He can be forgiving at times. So we're going to give him a friendly hug. And say everything is okay. I it's it's fine. Angela told me, and she said that you were kind of feeling down about yourself about earlier this morning, and so make up for lost times. Oh, he feels so sorry about dust about Bo. Okay, let's give him a friendly hug. Bo, where are you going? No, 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 no. Don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Give your brother a hug. He wants to hug you. He wants to hug you. Hug your brother. Hug me, brother. <laughs> But honestly, though, I, I think that they can definitely rekindle their friendship a little bit more. Bo, I know you're tired, but your bro wants to give you a hug and you didn't want a hug. I know, I know you're not on the best of terms, but life can lead to good greener pastures, maybe. Possibly so. Maybe. A family kiss does work, but like, still. Come on. I guess we can stay the night here for the time being, but I don't think we can actually stay here, stay here, because we're not really technically a part of the family. And we can't technically do that. But I would have to say, though, with Bo being here, it may bring up bad memories from him as a kid. But then I also believe that maybe this will help him heal at the same time. So I guess since we do work only in the afternoon at 2 p.m., we could probably stay here for the night. And I think Dustin and Angela will be okay with that since Leo is the only kid in the home to begin with, and also the fact that um, we all are really looking forward to the next stage in Bo's life and seeing where he goes with his career, his ambitions, his aspirations, his relationships, and overall one day to become a celebrity chef. So I think I might leave it off here on a good note for the time being, even though we didn't do much with Dustin, I think in the manana we can definitely for sure be a little bit better in our relationship. Maybe have a little good breakfast. Maybe, maybe, maybe Bo will cook the entire family some brekkie and they can talk a little bit and maybe boost their relationship even higher. But either way, as always, do let me know down in the comments below, as always, of what you thought of today's video in The Sims 2. Especially, let me know if you've ever played The Sims 2. If you have, tell me a story. If you haven't, let me know either way because I would love to know. I'm always nosy. I love knowing more about you who comment down below, like my videos, and even watch my videos. But regardless, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!